two hours sleeping and the room started becoming hot but i didn't know why i just felt that it was the weather or something and i heard my aunt shouting i didn't know why she was shouting so i went to check up on her and i saw we saw that her room was burning my brothers went inside to turn off the fire with a fire extinguisher but the fire extinguisher wasn't turning off the fire so we called the fire service the first one came and they said their water got choked and then the second one came they started spraying the house um, extinguishing the house from that side the other side and then the fire just got worse there was no water they say it got choked that's why i because I mean, fire service, you're supposed to check your things before you go to an incident and they're telling us that I got choked. So that's what made the fire spread more. And right now, I'm not worried about the house burning, the properties inside. Right now, everything is gone, just gone like that. I didn't take, my slippers is inside, everything is inside. That was one of the family members who escaped the fire, narrating the incident to City News. As of the time City News visited the fire scene, which was behind the East Cantonment Pharmacy, close to the Kwame Nkrumah interchange in Accra, thick smoke was seen from the building across the street. The fire occurred about 100 meters away from the site of the deadly June 3rd disaster. It started at about 8 a.m. Some residents quickly prompted the fire service. At least two fire tenders were deployed to help douse the fire. The cause of the fire is not yet known, but some relatives suspect it was started by a hot iron. Another family member, Shelly Fatima, who escaped the fire, told City News that they were preparing for a funeral in the house later in the day when an alarm was sounded about the fire from the top of the story building. I didn't look at the time, but I don't know. Sarah can see leaves behind the house that got burnt and she narrated what she saw to city news the house wouldn't have been to this extent if only the fire service were were competent enough they came here and their pipe wasn't working if their pipe was be working the fire wouldn't have gotten to that extent i think government should do something about this because this is the second time the first time the other markets was were burning they went there and their there was no water in their tank, so they went there for what? To decorate the place with the fire service cars or what? This is the second time they have done this. If government doesn't do something about this fire service people, I think the things will be happening and people will die. This one, we are just lucky that there wasn't anybody inside. There's supposed to be a funeral in this house today. And look what has happened. An eyewitness, Pius Akofu, accused the fire service of arriving late and that led to the house getting drastically affected by the fire. Ask me, say, how many minutes may I take to reach here? Uh, if this car, if this one will come first, if you for do your job, but it come, you say water no the inside, no open water. Wait, the second one too will come, you no, can't stand like 10 minutes before you do it, no open water. So this one, did they help Ghanaians or waiting? Did they, well, did they help me then you are... However, the fire service officials at the scene refused to address the media.